Hi friends, so uh, today I'm going to be working on a, um, I'm making a dry erase board. So it's going to be a four foot by eight foot dry erase board. And the way I'm going to make this is I'm going to mount, uh, th these walls are textured. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount a piece of four foot by eight foot MDF that's half inch thick on the wall. And then I have some material that is self-adhesive that can be applied to that 4x8 surface and that will result in a nice smooth dry erase surface. So before I get started I need a ledger board that I can use to establish level and where I want the bottom of the dry erase board to be and I need to locate the, um, the, the studs. So the easiest way to find these studs is to find the screws, or in some cases the nails that hold the sheetrock in. Now I did all the sheetrock, so I know that there's screws in here, and um, any strong magnet will do. But it needs to be a strong magnet. It needs to be like a neodymium magnet. Now I happen to also do embroidery, and so I have these magnetic hoops, which are strong enough to pinch your fingers. And what I'm able to do is hold them about an eighth inch from the wall, and they will grab where the um, screws are. Now it's they're not strong enough to hold, it's just you know one little screw there, but I can wiggle this around and figure out where level is and then I can just put a mark here that marks where those are at. Um, and so that's a, and you can see it just sticks to the side of the desk. It's a great, great tool. So I've gone ahead and done that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out where the bottom of this should be, where the top of it should be, and um, I need a tape measure, which as luck would have it, I didn't bring with me. So let me go get a tape measure and figure out where, you know, these two are at. So the easiest way to determine where the top of a dry erase board should be, and knowing that I, it's going to be four feet tall, is figure out how high can I reach. So if I stand against the wall, that's great. I can reach way up here. However, there's going to be stuff in front of this wall probably three feet worth of stuff. So now that takes me to about right there. So now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just measure down four feet. And that's, that's where my ledger board needs to be. And there are, gosh, probably dozens of ways to mark that as level. But the simplest is to use a level, a laser. And um, so what this will do, I can just, you know, this is an eighth inch up, but you know what, that's, that's fine. It really is. Um, well, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and fix it right. So I'll just lower my tripod a little bit. And then there's a little crank on here. There we go. So you can see that on camera. It's not super bright, but it does work. So now I've got a perfectly level ledger line. And so what I need to do at this point is screw in my ledger board. So what I'm gonna do is just start one there, put the one over there. And that should be there. All right. And then the left side of this socket outlet should be where the other one is. Now, if you didn't do the wiring and you didn't do the sheetrock, you probably shouldn't put a screw in and just hope there's not a wire there. I, I did the wiring in this house 
and I did the sheetrock. So I know the wiring comes in over here, drops down, goes along there, and there's nothing in the center of this wall. Because from the get-go, it was planned that there would be a dry erase board in my office. So dry erase, uh, MDF comes in 49 by 97 inch sheets. Isn't that wonderful? It's a half inch. It's an inch long in each direction. So I need to go cut that and then I need to wrestle that piece of crap in here and I can screw it in. But before I do, I want to transfer my marks to my ledger board. So I've got all these little inconspicuous marks all over my wall now. And now what I need to do is go trim that uh, ledger board, or not ledger board, sorry. I need to go trim the piece of MDF that's gonna become my uh, board, and um, that'll be that. Now, before I go any further with this, I wanna check the condition of my material because I bought it several years ago, and I haven't been, I didn't get around to installing it, and I haven't looked at it since. So I wanna make sure it's okay before I put the time into it. So this is made by Optima and there are other brands, but this stuff's pretty good. I had them send a sample and it doesn't do, um, there's some other stuff. Um, I think oh, wall talkers, it's junk, absolute junk. Um, it was installed in an office that I worked in at one point and it absolutely sucks. It goes like mad. So, this is a little stiff, but I think it'll be okay. So, what I want to do is I want to measure the height of it and make sure it's truly 48 inches. Oh, what do you know? It's 49. So I don't have to trim. And that's why it's important to measure this. So now I'm going to take a gamble that the length works well too. So I'm going to just bring my material in. All right. So first things first, I need to flip this up here and mark where the edges of it are because the next step is to install some adhesive on the back of it. Now, the reality of it is that I probably don't need the adhesive, but I'm putting the adhesive on because I really hate rattles. And I've done a lot of work in this house to make sure nothing rattles. So I'm gonna put this here so that it doesn't rattle either. Why would it rattle? I don't know. Um, noise, music, mechanical stuff. I, I don't know. I don't, but it's not worth two, three dollars for a tube of that stuff to have rattles. So I'm going to put two or three dollars worth of adhesive on the back of this thing so it doesn't go anywhere. So, all right. First things first, we got to get it up here. And this would be a lot easier if I had help, but I don't have help today. So, And that looks about right. So I do have a ladder that will double as a helper and just kind of hold things in place for me. Was easy. Now I get to take it down again. And 
I'm going to make some tick marks to indicate where I think this belongs. Maybe clean up my line. Okay. So, uh, get a caught gun, I'll be back. Now we'll do the part down here. Some of this left, and this is not something that keeps well. So what I'm going to do is just find places to use it. There we go. So I am just glutton for punishment. And for those of you who are thinking, man, doesn't this guy have any friends? I do, but they have to work Monday through Friday, and I happen to be on vacation today. And instead of going someplace exotic, I'm spending it working on my house. So, home improvement. Anyway, I want to get this done. Today's a great day to get it done, and that's why I'm doing it by myself. So, I'm going to line up my tick mark. do bad things to my hands. And put my helper ladder in place. Woo, all right. Now it's time to screw it. And on a more serious note, I'm, what I'm gonna do is run some screws into the wall. And I want to countersink them just a little bit because I'll come back with something else like a mastic or drywall compound and God knows what. And, um, and actually, I want to get a little step stool here, but. All right. That's one. Okay, so I'm using uh, some spackling and it is, uh, it goes on paint, dries white. So it has a little indicator to make, tell you when it's paintable. And that's just really, Charming. My goal is just to fill these in enough that when I apply the, the uh, dry erase material, 
it uh, won't leave any marks. All right, and that's all there is to it. So at this point, I need to let this dry. Um, if I had a second person here to help me, I doubt that I would wait for it to dry, but it's not gonna hurt anything for me to wait. Watching, I hope you found this interesting, and.